which one of these box cars is done by Atlas, and which one is the new exact rail box car. We're going to find out after this. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're here today to talk about the new Exact Rail boxcars that has just been released. Uh, I guess they never really made it to stores, but uh, if you did want one, you'd have to order direct from Exact Rail. Or there was a few other online companies that basically, you know, eBay and whatnot, where you'd have to pay them and they'd ship it directly to you. But either way, I've got all six road numbers here, and we're going to take a look at them alongside obviously atlas an atlas box car because uh they have been my favorite for quite some time now and uh i want to see if you guys can tell the difference between them and tell me which one is which so here's one here and then here's the other one now obviously without looking at the road number and saying well you know this is an atlas or whatever because atlas did that road number really the things that stand out to me between the two would be the shade the shade of blue the uh the yellowish color pretty close but you'll notice that that one over there is a lot darker than this one now both of them if you look very carefully if i can get in there they do have very crisp writing to them. There you go. Another thing that stands out are the ladders. Where those are separately, separately applied grab irons on your right. And that just looks like a, a ladder extension on the left. It's the same thing on both ends, right? The ends of the car look the same on both sides. It has a little uh, etched metal piece on both of them. Not too much of a difference there. Brake wheel is on there as well. You'll see it on this end. Nope, they're on the insides. So you'll see that uh, on the one on the left, it's a blue wheel. And on the right here, it's a yellow wheel. So there's a little bit of a difference there too. As for couplers, those are Katie's. And as for these ones, well, they're not Katie's but they're still metal couplers. Not sure what brand those are. So, I mean, that's I mean that's a clear indication which one is which, because the new exact rail ones do come with KD couplers already installed. So, and that's one thing that you can always look at as a positive for these new box cars. Same thing with the roof. Got the metal roof. These are more of a straight, line and there's a bit of a an x to it you can see it this one here it stands out way more it's more detailed here's a look at the bottom of the car metal wheels there's a few pipes and whatnot it's very hard to see because obviously it is dark but same thing with this side here metal wheels and also you do have the undercarriage piping. These are the ends that I found it really hard to see when they were butted up against each other. But there you go. There's the uh, brake wheel there with the, the ladder set. One is yellow and one is blue. So, yeah, I mean, they both look fine. Uh, uh, the one on the right there does now looking in this light seem a little bit darker than the yellow on the left or on the right sorry but both are still nice nonetheless uh, the ends on the one on the right seem to be much more detailed as you can see more rivets 
and uh, the space at the top there where the the ONT number is, uh, there seems to be less space on the one on the right where it didn't go all the way up on the left and they're not as evenly spaced as the ones on the right. So yeah, it seems to be more detailed in that sense. Let's take a look at a picture of one of the real ones. Now I don't want you guys to get confused because these are actually two different types of boxcars. They are both 50 footers, however this is a plug door and this is an Evans 5277. Both are used prototypically by Ontario Northland. Uh, obviously this one's part of the uh, 7000 and this is part of, the, or sorry, the 77 and this is part of the 79. So there's uh, a lot of numbers each individual ones, uh, most are available. I, I've seen more obviously done of the uh, the 77s. Uh, I do have a lot of them myself, but I knew that as soon as the uh, 7900 series came out, uh, I had to get all of them. Let's take a look at one of the ones that are in the box and we're gonna see what is in the box basically. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys here uh, obviously, I had to order them direct from Exact Rail, and they're in the United States uh, of America. Uh, basically, they were thirty nine ninety nine each, and that's American dollar, which there was six of them. Uh, I mean, there's different road names and whatnot, but I obviously just got Ontario Northland, and uh, it did come out to two hundred and sixty eight ninety seven. And the shipping was twenty nine oh three, but that's all American price, so it was probably about just over three hundred dollars when you do the exchange rate. And then, and then when it showed up at my door in a box, uh, so basically it was an extra. Well, yeah. Okay. So yeah, it came out to three eighteen and 52 uh, cents Canadian, and then another $108 in tax, and because uh, I had to go through customs and the import fees and all that. So you're looking at just over $400 for six cars. That's almost $100 a car. I think it works out to being about $65 to $70 each. Uh, my math might be off a little bit, but ballpark. Is it worth $70 a piece, even $60 a piece, or $50 a piece? Probably not, <laughs> but it's such a, you know, a niche thing where they don't make a lot of these. Um, I mean, I have them from scrounging and they just put out like another two numbers in the plug door, uh, which by the way, if you look at them, the, the trillium's upside down. So it wasn't even done properly. And these cars are, they go for about $30. So it's, you're paying $30 for an Atlas and about 60 to 70 for one of these, for the exact rail. I mean, it's totally up to you. If you find that it's worth it to be spending that much on a box car, but with something like this where they're really hard to find, I, I really had to do it. And I don't know, you know, if they're going to be selling out of them quick or not, but I wanted to scoop them up before they did, because you know how it goes. You buy something that's railroad related, all of a sudden they run out of them, and they double in price. Or if it's a repeat product, it'll triple in price. So let's, uh, let's get this open here, and we will take a look to see how it's packaged because if it's being shipped from the States, you want to make sure that it's being shipped properly with care. So there's 
absolutely no foam here. <laughs> so that, that kind of sucks because, you know, you would expect like a foam insert or something. It has the soft plastic that covers it, which is fine. Prevents it from getting scratched, but yeah, there's absolutely no, no foam in here. I gotta be honest though, they do roll amazingly. It's a bit of an incline here, but it's okay. But yeah, that's basically it. You don't get anything else in the box, just the box, which is nice. It's, uh, it's a nice box, nicely colored. Nature scale, evolution, you know, it's, uh, has the owner symbol there. It would be CN for the CN one, I'm sure. They all have their special coding and has the road number. And on the back, it gives you a little detail here. I'll let you read that if you want to pause it. It's just about exact rail. You like them on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. They're on all the platforms. So I'm going to take them all out of their packaging now. Uh, break the seal, if you will. Get them all lined up here, and then I'm going to start, uh, start pulling them around. Here we go. Okay, so I just want to make sure that they're all here. So you can see there in front of you, we got nine or 7,900. Okay. Then uh, coming up the way here, we got 7,908. Whoa, a little close. There we go. 7908. We've got 7907. We've got 7901. 7906. And lastly, 7903. So I'm really excited to get these going here. I'm going to put a train on it and then pull them around. All right, we're gonna do one last color comparison here just to show you a bit of range here as far as the blue that we're, we're using. So the, obviously the ones in the front here, these are the exact rail, okay? We're gonna compare it to the Rapido gondolas that are in the back there, which are obviously really nice. Very, very similar. Um, obviously they used a different yellow than that. Theirs is more orangey, but whatever. Then we take a look at the Atlas, which the blue is, no, keeping in mind, this is an older run. This is the newer run of Atlas, which the blue is way lighter. I wouldn't even consider that a, you know, <laughs> a viable piece of art there because even the trillium's upside down where these are actually correct. So that's why I'm going off these ones, not the newest run of Atlas, shameful. But anyways, so you can see that there's a, a very good comparison between the three, um, the Rapido being the closest blue to that, and then obviously the Atlas, you know. So it's it's kind of like the best of both, you could say. Uh, very Getting very close with the colors here, which uh, which is nice. But uh, yeah, now we're going to we're gonna pull them all. Uh, now, obviously I'm going to be weathering all these. I know, right? You spend $70 on a boxcar and you want to make it look like it's dirty. Well, I've been working a lot on that, so it's eventually going to get some grime on it. So it is what it is. Here we go.
Well, there you have it. There's your overview of the exact rail Evans Ontario Northland boxcar. It's uh it's a great runner. They run really well. And I mean, you kind of have to get all of them. So it's basically worth it. <laughs>